In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Razer mouse. So in this video, I'm going to be using the Razer Death Adder, but this will also work for other Razer mouses as well. So if this is your first time using a Razer mouse, the first thing we need to do is obviously unbox the mouse and just plug the device into your computer. And in order to start getting the most out of your mouse, you need to install this application here, which is the Razer Synapse. And it should prompt you to go and download this when you first plug in the mouse to your computer. Now, if you don't have this application or it doesn't prompt you to go and install it, then what you'll need to do is just open up an internet browser and type in Razer Synapse Download and hit enter. Now, scroll down to the Razer Synapse 4 and click on this link here. And this is the most up-to-date version of the Razer Synapse. So we're going to scroll down to the Download Now button and click on this. Now, it's going to appear in your Downloads folder on your internet browser. And we can just open up this Razer Synapse application file. Now, from here, we just need to go through the steps on the screen to install this to our computer so i'm going to click on continue and it's going to take us over to the razer gaming software page and if you click on show more the application we need to install is this razer synapse 4 now i already have this installed on my computer so it's just going to say launch for me in the top right hand side but if you don't have this then you'll need to install it now onto your system once you've finished installing the application we can click on the launch button and that's going to take us over to the dashboard of the razer synapse page now as long as you have your device plugged into your computer it should appear underneath this device's column here so now we can go and click on our Razer mouse like this. And this is where we can go and customize and set up all of the different settings for our mouse. So you can start on this customize navigation bar here. And what we can do is go and customize all of the different buttons on our mouse and decide what each of these buttons do. So you'll notice you have different side buttons and even buttons on the top of your mouse. And you can go and customize exactly what these different things do. This can be useful for gaming and things like that to create shortcut keys and to go and customize any of these buttons you simply need to click on the button like so decide what you want this button to do when pressed so there's a bunch of different options you can make it launch certain applications or windows shortcuts i'm just going to keep it very simple and press on keyboard function i'm going to click on key recording in the drop down and i'm just going to set this to the letter e on my keyboard this is what i'm going to bind it to and then i'm going to press save now what's going to happen is when i press this left mouse button it's going to type out the letter e on my keyboard. So this can be useful if you're gaming and the letter E, for example, performs some kind of action in the game. And this is basically a shortcut to go and press this key. Now, another thing you can do here is click on the performance tab. This is where you can change all of the DPI settings of your mouse. So this is where you can make the cursor move either faster or slower. You can also press on the middle mouse button and this is going to switch between all of the different DPI settings on your mouse. So you'll notice when you rotate between these different settings, it's either going to be slower or faster depending on the profile you select now the next thing we have is this lighting navigation here and this is where we can change all of the colors that are displayed on our mouse so i have mine set to this neon green you can go and customize this to your own personal preferences you can also change the template so it could be a solid color or you can choose any of these different patterns here you can also turn off the lighting in the left hand navigation as well as adjust the brightness of the lights on your mouse and it's really as simple as that guys that's how you set up your Razer mouse. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.